Microsoft doesn't want to just become carbon neutral. They want to actually negate their carbon footprint going back more than four decades. The company admits the technology to make that happen doesn't even fully exist yet, but they say they are committed. The start of a new decade is a time to reflect, set intentions and move forward with bold ambitions. Today, Microsoft leader Satya Nadella laid out a bold mission for the world's largest software company. We must begin to offset the damaging effects of climate change. Now Microsoft is announcing a moonshot promise to make that happen. Today we are making the commitment that by 2030, Microsoft will be carbon negative. So what does that mean? Microsoft's pledge means removing more carbon from the atmosphere than they generate by using renewable energy to power everything from their cars to data centers that power the cloud. Investing a billion dollars in climate innovations and one of the biggest challenges for Microsoft, the supply chain. Everything from the raw materials used to make computers to the electricity used to power an Xbox. And the company has an even bigger promise down the road. By 2050, we will remove from the environment all of the carbon we have emitted directly or by electrical consumptions since our company's founding. That pledge covers 45 years of carbon emissions by Microsoft. It's the latest promise in a corporate race to tackle sustainability. From the Seattle Sounders to Amazon, which last year pledged to be carbon neutral by 2040. 10 years later than Microsoft, and 10 years earlier than standards set by the Paris Climate Agreement, which the United States pulled out of. We will be a 100% green tech company. Microsoft's president says the effort will require technology that doesn't fully exist today, but Nadella says the moonshot goal is one the company needs to meet. This is the decade for urgent action. And one specific idea Microsoft brought up today to tackle those supply chain issues, they plan to make suppliers start paying them a fee for their carbon emissions. And the company would then invest that tax into sustainability efforts. I'm Jessica Janner Castro, King 5 News. Back to you, Mark. All right.